Hello everyone, it's Francesco Nell with an updated video on how to install the Battle for Middle Earth 2. My previous video is over a year old and in the meantime a lot has changed so I felt it was time to make a new and improved video. I actually hoped this would already be available by now but they're still working very hard on it so in the meantime we'll have to do it like I'm going to show you in a minute. I've decided to cut this video in parts because with my previous video people were scared of the length of the video and didn't click or watch it. So what you are now watching is the first part in which I'm gonna show you how to uninstall the game. Uh, if you don't need to see this you can now either click on the next part on how to install the game, click on the additional setup part or go straight to the troubleshooting video. So make your choice. Alright, so you decided to stick with me and learn how to uninstall the Battle for Middle Earth 2 to freshly install it again. You probably had the problem that the normal uninstaller doesn't work. Um, if you haven't tried it yet, or of course with the control panel, that's just the same uninstaller I think. If this doesn't work then stick with me, if you haven't tried it, try it first. If it doesn't work, if it doesn't delete these files, then uh, delete it manually. And then when it's deleted, go to reg, I'm sorry, click on your uh, Windows uh, button on your uh, keyboard type reg edit and go here h key local machine software software here scroll down to wo 6432 node um, and if you're not on the 64-bit computer which most of you probably are if you are on a 30, happen to be on a 32-bit computer, then it will just be under software. But if you are uh, on a 64-bit computer, you have to go to WoW 6432 node. Scroll down to uh, Electronic Arts and the Battle for Middle Earth 2. Here, you have to delete this just by pressing the delete button and then of course on yes and that is where and uh, also this of course both of these you have to delete this one and this one and that is what an uninstaller does it deletes this and all the files in your file location in your uh, installation folder so now we have done what the uninstaller couldn't do and we're good to go to install the game again so, I'll see you in the next part. 